watching the two-episode Marvel's Inhumans premiere feels oddly anticlimactic. The trailers released this summer were the subject of some hilarious and pointed criticism, and beyond the usual early screenings for fans and critics, the first two episodes were aired as a 90-minute film in IMAX theaters earlier this month. Seeing the premiere now feels almost like an exercise in futility, a pity watches ABC modifies ads for the series to include the ominous phrase the complete series. Opening without any explanation on a fight scene isn't inherently a bad choice, but your average ABC viewers, and even your average Marvel Cinematic Universe fans, don't have any idea why there are humanoid people with decidedly non-human features in Hawaii, let alone why they're getting shot at. Sometimes, pushing the audience into the deep end and slowly unpacking the story around them works really well, but this feels more like an excuse to do some slow motion shots with carefully crafted driving music than a story driven choice. Even though it's a set up for a major plot point, the opening scene feels very different from the rest of the episode, like it was tacked on later in an attempt to provide a little bit of context when the first few screenings confused audiences. It does have the added benefit of ensuring the show didn't begin with two people naked in bed together, which is appreciated, but the transition from fight to bed isn't a smooth one, and the post-coital cuddle is just as awkward as TV can make it. Doubling down on that initial choice, Marvel's Inhumans dives in feet first to the kind of drama and ridiculousness that fans have come to expect both from Marvel and from these characters, specifically. Superhero comics are closer in nature to soap operas than some people want to admit, carrying decades of canon and over-the-top interpersonal theatrics just like soaps. If superhero comics writ large are soap operas, the Inhumans, in comic form, are shunned land on the scale of Lord of the Rings. But on TV, Marvel's Inhumans doesn't lean into that skid, leaving us with a messy 90 minutes full of too much talking and several completely unnecessary flashbacks. Most of the first episode is dominated by trying to set up the backstory of the royal family in the city of Adelin, which is on the moon for reasons that aren't discussed. Black Bolt, Anson Mount, is the king of Adelin, with Medusa, Sarinda Swan, as his queen. Introductions happen quickly and with a lot more exposition than is necessary, and far too much of the episode is devoted to the ceremony that helps Inhumans discover their personal superpowers, especially since there's no explanation of how the Terrigan Mists trigger their powers or how the Mists apparently started appearing on Earth. Almost immediately, Black Bolt's brother Maximus, Iwin Rian, begins to foment political unrest that he quickly leverages into a coup that's clearly been waiting in the wings for some time.